it builds and it builds, it's epic. <laughs> hey superstars, HBK Luke here, hope you sexy boys and girls are doing great, baby, let's go. Woo! We are continuing our Milan Farmer journey, and we have the introduction to her Millennium Tour, courtesy of the superstar patron Julian. This is from the tour supporting her 1999 fifth album, In Amoramento, and we have the songs Millennium. I love how she has uh, used the wordplay there for the tour and for the opening song. Brilliant. And also the song L'Amour Nascent, which is the growing love in English, the music for which was written by Laurent Boutena. So without further ado, let's get to it. Her introductions are always spectacular, so let's see what this one has to offer. It's showtime. Audience always spectacular. Wow. Ghostly vibe. It's like a tribal kind of uh Very naturistic. Is that a word?
What an entrance. I mean, it's always spectacular. It's just this massive spectacle, isn't it? But um, it builds and it builds. It's epic, you know. There's always the anticipation. She is just the best at building the anticipation for her entrance. The music's great. Moody, haunting, almost ghostly to start with. And now we're kind of rocking out. There's a heaviness to that darkness. Uh, I mean, it's rock and roll entrance, really, isn't it? It's absolute just music with theatre. Um, and she's not even started singing yet. But the audience just rampant for it aren't they they just cannot wait for their queen their hero to appear she's almost appearing as that isn't she here this kind of larger than life figure it's uh her character that she plays is just brilliant <laughs> How big is that set, by the way? Huge! Thank you. 
is just so beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. I feel like here, her voice, it's always just so, just silky, just gorgeous. But here, it's almost like it's kind of caught on the wind. It's just flowing through the air. It's so high, it's so light, it's so delicate. Oh, goosebumps. It's just, oh, it's so good. And this real light kind of acoustic feel with the guitar and that gorgeous melody from the keyboard as well. It's, uh, it's very light. It's very kind of, it's almost just have this kind of spiritual feeling about it. It's uh, a real kind of contrast, isn't it, to the opening that we got as well. But, um, and when she hits those high, long notes, it's, uh, it's just bliss. It's like the thunder at the start. goodness she is the best at the introductions at the exits i mean she knows how to put on a show doesn't she and grandiose and just you are just so excited for each one i feel like it is almost part of the tour isn't it it's part of the new tour where you know maybe not even as much anticipation of the songs that she's going to perform for you but how she's going to enter and how she's going to exit the show because they are just on a different, different, easy for me to say, level to, to anything else I've really seen, you know, consistently just being so unique, so different and just this epic kind of, you know, anticipation to it. It's just awesome. Uh, really enjoyed this one. I mean, we've got the big kind of almost like this Egyptian theme, haven't we? The big kind of pharaoh and the statue. I mean, how big is that as well? It's absolutely huge audience, huge audience. And they are just gripped, aren't they? It's almost fever pitch. They cannot wait to see their hero, you know, um, and it's just awesome to see because they are just so happy, aren't they, watching her perform. And you can see it from Milan as well that she's enjoying every second as well. Brilliant opening, rising from above, almost this larger than life, this almost this queen, this pharaoh kind of figure, I guess. Um, and we shift, don't we, from the kind of uh, millennium opening, which has this kind of more, well, we start out with this kind of ghostly, more haunting feeling, don't we? 
But then it shifts to this kind of more rock and roll, you know, there's a lot of guitar, a bit of distortion, a bit of whammy going on, prominent drums, and then we get the thunderclap. And then we get this change into this very kind of uh, stripped back, very melodic piano, guitar, and just this kind of, you know, heavenly, angelic vocal from me then here. And there is a shift, isn't there? Midway through, we go almost from this bliss. Um, and I guess this was kind of part of the intro as well, where there's this animalistic, human nature kind of at its rawest vibe. We get it with the kind of backing vocal that comes in on uh, the uh, L'Amour Nassant song. Um, but it's continued from the intro into that with that backing vocal, almost these kind of just sounds rather than words, you know, you don't need the words to kind of put it in there and the kind of the shift in the drum and everything else. Um, and I think what this song is all about, because I think we, there's a kind of hint I felt anyway, almost this kind of Irish, Irish, easy for me to say, flavour to it as well, almost this kind of pipes or this Celtic feel at the start um, as we came in. And maybe in terms of those melodies and everything else as well. But there's this real sense of nature, I felt, you know, this kind of power, this natural power that comes from humans, from the world. And I guess we get it with the thunder at the start and the end of the song as well. Um, and I feel like it's, it's about love at its core, you know, this kind of awakened feeling within you, which gave it that spiritual vibe at the same time. Um, but at this, it's also got that, that, Milan melancholy, which she's just absolutely brilliant at putting in her songs. It's almost, you know, love and how it can be great and how or how it could be, you know, heartbreaking at the same time. But it's a beautiful thing either way. Be -e a beautiful. And, you know, you, you just have this longing to experience it, whether it's good or bad. It's kind of, you know, you're prepared you kind of got no control over it. So you're kind of going to go along for the ride of it, um, which I think is where we get the kind of bliss and then mixed in with this kind of change. And it's kind of that whole, I guess, roller coaster that can be, you know, love in its kind of natural form, which I think is great. But it's done in Milan's just amazing style, which is just so unique to her and uh, an absolute pleasure to watch her perform as always, big shout out to Julian for recommending this. Absolutely loved it. Is this your favourite Milan intro? I mean, it's so hard to pick because there's so many, but I think it could be mine. Just the whole spectacle, the whole theme here, I think is just perfect. And I think perfectly kind of uh, epitomises Milan as well. It's like this love. It is this kind of positive feeling, but with that hint of the melancholy at the same time. So... Awesome. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Please like and subscribe. And HBK Luke is signing out, brother.